everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks. Today I'm going to be making a chicken egg noodle stir fry. Now, some of you regulars may remember I did a chicken and egg noodle stir fry just the other day, but I used actual pieces of chicken and I used a co-op, uh, well at least co-op stir fry, it wasn't necessarily this flavour, but it was a co-op stir-fry, three of them for £1.25. Today I'm going to be making chicken Kiev and egg roll stir-fry. Okay, we've got chicken Kievs. Going to be using Uncle Ben's, which I got on special, uh, sweet and sour extra pineapple stir-fry. And the egg noodles that I used the other day. Now, um, I don't know how much these cost. They're the Blue Dragon. When these are done, I'm going to go for the co-op brand ones because they're £1.40. And uh, anyway, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So chicken Kiefs is the main ingredient. So we've got chicken. We've got a little bit of garlic in there. And we've also got some breadcrumbs. So I figure it's going to come out pretty good. Now, we've got two Kiefs, which I'm going to put in the air fryer at 200. So what's going on with this bloody door? Um, it says on the packet you got to put it in the oven for th uh, 200 for 30 to 35 minutes. Alright, so there's 30 minutes. Now it says the oven, it doesn't say anything about an air fryer, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. Now once that's cooked, once it's, once it's cooked in the air fryer, I will put it in the frying pan to, you know, keep it hot. Uh, add the sauce, cook that up, at the same time boil the noodles in a pan of water and then throw the noodles in, give it a good mix and everything will be great. Okay, the Kievs are done, they took about 30 minutes. And now I'm going to put these into the frying pan and I'm going to cut them up into two little pieces. There we are, they're almost almost cut up. I'm cutting these into very, very small pieces. A bit, you know, smaller than the usual chunks of meat that I would, you've seen me cook before. Small, you know, because basically I want lots of little tiny pieces. They're going to be spoon sized to so just eat with a, you know, fit into a spoon. There you go. Now, now uh, the water's boiled, I'm going to put in the egg noodles. There we are, um, Blue Dragon Egg Noodles. I'm going to be putting three of them in here, I think, today. One there. Two. Three. There we are. Three of those, and they're going to be cooked for about approximately five minutes. Next step is the Uncle Ben's Sweet and Sour Stir Fry Sauce. Now, the Uncle Ben's, I, would, I only go for these when they're on special. That they're, they're, they quite often do these for pound. Uh, I'm going to turn this on six out of twelve. There we go. I don't want this to be because the, the chicken Kiev is actually cooked, as you saw in the air fryer. So I'm only heating up the sauce. That's all I'm doing here. I'm going to heat that up for about five minutes. I'm going to save the jar just in case I need to put some water in there. Oh, and I brought the clock in. I brought the clock in there. So it, uh, it went in a minute or two ago, so it's going to be 25 2 by the time the noodles are done. So I'm just going to heat this up for five minutes. And then um, I'm going to cook the cook the noodles for five minutes, and then throw them in the in the pan here of uh, stir fry. Okay, I've cooked the noodles. I've drained the noodles. Now. They get poured into the into the sauce. Now the next job is, I'm going to cut the noodles. There you go. Just cut them into little pieces. 
just like you would, uh, I, I do that if I ever, which is rare, um, eat spaghetti bolognese with the long string pasta, this is what I do, you know, uh, before, before eating. You know, I mix up all the uh, sauce and the pasta, cut it up like this, it just makes it easier, you know, rather than get it on the spoon and twizzle it around the spoon, it's just hard as hell. Okay, um, yes, so this way, I'll just be able to, um, let's see, turn this off. Uh, yeah, but, you know, it's all, you know, like most dishes, I like to, you know, better eat with one, one spoon. Okay, right, I'll pan down for you. Right. There's a lot of chicken and a lot of noodles in this. Three, what they call bird's nests, of noodles. Two chicken Kievs. I was thinking about putting more Kievs in there, but I decided not to because I, I've only got three left and I want to, I was thinking I might make a chicken Kiev curry, I'm thinking. I might do that tomorrow. Anyway, so we can look forward to that. Okay. There we go. The, the noodles are a little bit long. Hmm. Yeah, the, the, the noodles are fine. Oh. The thing is, egg for egg noodles, a bit like pasta on its own, you know, they're, they're not exactly bursting with flavour. But uh, but you, you know, put them in with anything, and they'll they'll take on the, uh, the the flavor. It's just there's not a lot of sauce going on with this stir fry mixture. There was when I started cooking, but uh, you know it gets evaporated. If you don't time it to the minute, then uh, you know the, the the sauce gets evaporated. But all in all, <coughs> this is quite um it's quite a nice meal. You could also I mean, there's carrots and peppers and pineapple in with a sauce. You could throw in your own peas if you wanted to bulk this up a bit. You know, but and um, instead of egg, uh, instead of egg noodles, if you put the chicken Kievs with the sauce, dump it on a plate full of roasted potatoes. You know, or chips or hash browns. You know, but some potato. Hmm. Well, this is perfectly adequate, you know. I mean, it's not exactly the most flavoursome dinner that I've ever made. But, you know, it's very nice. Hmm. Very edible. Pineapple chunks uh, give it a little bit of um, sweetness there. Hmm. This will go. There you go. Chicken Kiev stir fry with egg noodles and extra pineapple. Thank you for watching.